I have an ounce of liquid butter in here. I'm going to take a zester and add about a tablespoon of orange zest. You have to kind of estimate how much this is because zest is difficult to, to actually measure accurately. Now I'm going to add about a tablespoon of sugar. So far so normal. Not, not really that unusual to put orange zest in it. Now it gets a little weirder. A tablespoon of cornstarch. Not something you would expect in this. Now the egg. Get the whole egg. I'm also going to add a pinch, an eighth of a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. You have to scale all this up, of course, and uh, the milk. And I'm going to whisk this together gently. The next big problem you're going to face is the type of bread that you make it with. This is extremely important. You need a nice quality, real loaf of bread. Do not try to make this with Wonder Bread. And of course, you can't even use Wonder Bread because you need a loaf that hasn't been sliced yet. You're going to cut pieces that are about an inch thick. Then, from there, you're going to remove the crusts. What you do with the crusts is unimportant. You can feed the birds with it if you want to. And you're just not going to use the rest of this recipe. You can make breadcrumbs with it. Yep, that's another that's another topic. This is not perfectly squared up. So for the sake of presentation, pay some attention. Try to make it as even as you can. Exactly how big you want will be up to you. I'm suggesting pieces that are about three quarters by three quarters by one inch. This is a good size for, for holding and it gives you enough of a, a base here to uh, to put a topping on and it's you can anybody can pick this up and eat it in one bite when it's when it's done cooking. Uh, obviously you're gonna need quite a bit of bread in order to make all of the servings that you need. I'm gonna show just a few of these to give you the idea. You're gonna put don't be stingy with the butter on this baking tray. This is important. It needs a good coating of butter. Okay, next. We have our mixture here. I'm going to add a little bit of salt to this. Could have done that earlier, probably. Just force a habit, I add the salt at the end. Okay. I'm going to put our pieces in here. Obviously, I made enough batter here for a lot more than three pieces. Be careful you don't damage the pieces now that they're cut up. They will, they will get screwed up easily. Give them a good toss, a good bath in it. Shake them off a little bit. And move them into this pan. And don't worry if there's a little bit of a puddle underneath them. That will fix itself as this cooks. Okay, we're just going to do like three here just, just to start it off. Here's what we have going into the oven. Okay, I've taken this out <clears throat> after 10 minutes. I'm going to slide <clears throat> the, the same sort of um, spatula you'd use for lifting cake underneath it. Give it a turn. Mm, it can help it out a little bit. Make sure that it doesn't cool off and completely stick to that surface. <clears throat> and now we're just going to leave it sit like this for for uh, a while till we're ready to use it. It's it's stabilized now. So basically, when you're ready for these, you just hit them with a little bit more heat, brown them in a little bit of butter and then set them off to the side. You can keep them in a uh, warming table from then on or um, you can just set them, let them cool down to room temperature. They'll still be good. Now as for what to do from here, what I really suggest <clears throat> is you take some cream cheese and heavy cream and sugar and vanilla and beat it up, put it in a piping bag and put a dollop of each of these on top of each of these and then put uh, a strawberry um, like crown side up. You can hull them and, and have them sticking up out of the top of that. This combination of cream cheese, cream, sugar, vanilla 
incredibly delicious. <coughs> if you want to make it even simpler, you don't have time, it's an emergency for whatever reason, something goes wrong, you can just do the easy approach, put some powdered sugar over the top, and put a strawberry in each one. This is this is a lazy approach to this dish, uh, but of course it, it's still edible, it's still good. I'm going to take a moment aside here and show you what <coughs> strawberries look like here. These are from the Netherlands. There's no giant green patch here. They're red overall. They're all perfect, ripe. They smell incredible. I see nothing like the strawberries you get in the United States, unfortunately. It's extremely easy. I've got the cream already in the bowl. I'm going to add the soft cream cheese to it. So that if you use one that's not the soft kind, you'll have to let it soften to room temperature with time. But it's easier just to use one that's already spreadable. Um, the sugar, 60 grams of sugar, it's 120 grams of cream cheese, and uh, about 400 grams of cream, and uh, some vanilla. Yeah, what's with the funky bottle? It's because I make my own vanilla, but uh, you can you can use commercial extract. After two or three minutes, you'll get something that's fairly thick, <laughs> probably thicker than this because I'm using uh, uh, the kind of Russian cream that doesn't really got enough fat in it to whip, but that you'll get heavy cream if you keep whipping it for a few minutes. Then refrigerate it until you're ready to use it, stick it in the piping bag. Okay, make sure you let these cool down after they're fried for just a minute. And you're only using this as glue. It's not a complete topping. It'll just run all over the place if you try to cover the whole the whole top of it, as you'll see. Sorry, there's a little bit of a mess. Don't worry about it, because we'll clean those up in a minute. You just want a little bit in there. You can also put strawberries in like this. This will give them a little bit of cream. It'll help stabilize them. That strawberry is really a little bit too big for this. Depends on what size strawberries you have. If you can if you can get them small enough, then they're nice like this pointing up. If you can't then you have to slice them and, and use them like that. Also look for my cocktail book, Cocktails of the South Pacific and Beyond, Advanced Mixology, available through Amazon online.